Okay, so this is where I left you off on uh, yesterday's or Friday's notes. So find resolution of forces and we'll continue off there. Okay. So let's just make a quick note. And we're going to think back to what we were talking about last day. We were talking about um, these resolution of forces. So, for example, you have a dog attached to his collar, his chain. You, the dog walker, have the chain in, in your hand, and you're holding it up at 40 degree angle. Now, when you have a f an angle made to the horizontal, and your, your force is exerted through the string or cable, the tension is exerted through this string. You can break it down into its two components, the X component and the Y component. And the X component you're going to use when you're dealing with things that are happening left and right. And the Y component you're going to use for things that are happening up and down. And we're going to make a quick note of that here. So let me just put that formally for you. Any question involving FF? Use TX, the tension in the string, but the X component. So any question involving FG or FN use tension in the Y component. So we're going to have to use um, component wise organization. You have to organize your physics questions by components do net force in the horizontal and do net force in the vertical and you're going to have to use the components TX and TY for tension along a string. Alright, so let's take a look at an object being pulled horizontally by a rope. Okay, so you're just going to draw a mass on a s flat surface Okay, so let's do an example. So you just have a mass on a flat surface like this. And let's say the mass is 7 kilograms. I'll zoom in for you. And let's say that like there's a rope around this mass and attached to that rope is you pulling. So I let me just draw a stick figure. Got the rope in his hand. Oh no. Okay. That's you pulling this rope. And let's say that the rope uh, is making an angle at a horizontal at 30 degrees. So that's a 30, 30 degrees. That's you pulling this crate 30 degrees. And the tension in the rope, let's say it is 120 newtons in the rope. Does that make sense? You got the rope around a box, you got the rope attached to your shoulder, and then you're going to drag it. Okay? You okay there, Sean? What's wrong? Can't see? Where's your glasses? Why don't you come sit over here? You can sit on the stool. Why? It's too, fl too much brightness? Oh. Okay, just listen then.
Okay, so we got to calculate Fn, Ff, and A. That's what we want to do. Got this sweater on, so I'm hot, that's all. Okay, so we got to find the normal force, the frictional force, and the acceleration. All right. So let's draw a free body diagram for this 7 kilogram mass. Okay, free body diagram. Got your 7 kilos here. Now what forces are acting, what external forces are acting on the 7 kilogram mass? Gravity, okay, draw it in. Here's FG. Say that again. Okay, force normal. Now we've got to be careful with force normal. It's not the same size as FG. Because there's a component of the rope, TY, that actually adds some vertical force to this free body diagram. So we do not draw FN the same size as FG in this case. Okay, how about left and right? What do we got acting left? Okay, we got force of friction here. And then we need to put in the tension in the rope. So there's the tension in the rope, T. And it is made through the following two components, Tx and Ty. And the angle between the horizontal is 30 degrees. So there is our free body diagram for this 7 kilogram mass. Any questions on it? Any questions? Okay, so in the question, uh, did I say that it was accelerating? Oh, I just said calculate A. So we're just, we're just assuming that we're accelerating right. So you've picked it up and you're really applying a, enough force that you're actually picking up speed. It's like those strongman competitions. You've picked up the rope and you're like, you've, you're booting it. You're running hard and you're picking up speed. So you're accelerating right. So what we want to do is we want to create net force equations in the horizontal dimension and a vertical dimension. That's the goal here. So give yourself basically a couple columns. Okay, we want to do F net X and we want to do F net Y. We have to, s basically we have to break down this problem into the two components. Now let's start with F net Y. It's a little bit easier. And remember, you always have to ask yourself, are there unbalanced forces? This is a question you need to ask yourself in general, always. Are there unbalanced forces? So let's take a look in the Y component. Is this box accelerating up in the sky? It's accelerating to the right, but is it accelerating up? No. So that means in the Y component, the forces are balanced. So that means the net force is 
zero. Before we do that, let's just let's just put f net, just so you guys don't get confused. So you have f net in the y equals, and in the next step, it's going to be zero because it's balanced. Okay, and the right side of your net force equations are always this, F1 plus F2 plus dot dot plus F3, whatever forces are involved. This process is similar to what we just did on the quiz, where you have all the forces involved. So what are the forces involved vertically in this free body diagram? There's FG, there's FN, and there's also TY. Good. So we can jot them in. So we have FN. Is it pointing up? Okay, good. What about TY? Is that pointing up? And what's pointing down? So put minus FG. You could do plus a negative, but it's the same. So this is critical. This is so critical, like especially the first line. I mean, the fact that you have it separated into X and Y, that's critical. But this in general, net force equals the sum of all the forces involved. And then you understand that it's balanced, so the net force is zero. And then you have this. Okay. Now let's jump over to X. What's happening in X? So you're going to write F net X equals F1 plus F2 plus dot dot dot. Now, for this one, I've told you that it's accelerating right. So are the forces balanced? No. So instead of putting zero there, because the acceleration is not zero, you're going to put MA. So you put 7A. You guys okay with that? Now let's analyze all the horizontal forces acting on this body. There's FF and there's TX. Which one's bigger? So put that one first. TX minus FF. All right. What's Newton's uh, first law? An object in motion stays in motion. An object at rest stays at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Unbalanced forces cause acceleration. So if you look at F net in the Y, is there an unbalanced force. No. That's why acceleration is zero and over here you have seven times zero which is zero. And then you have the sum of all the forces involved on the right. Okay? Sum of all the forces on the right. MA on the left. Okay, so what are we trying to solve for? Okay, so let's start over here on the right side. Can we get TY and FG? Are these known? Are those known? FG is always easy to get. You have the mass, right? So this one's easy. This is just going to be 7 times 
9.81. Is TY easy to get? How do you get that one? 120 sine 30. Good. So right away we can solve for FN. Do you agree? Okay. So FN equals, just moving those two terms to the left, we have a FG minus a TY. FG is 7 times 9.81. And tension in the Y, if you look over here, do you guys see that this is the opposite side of 30? And this tension runs along the string. So that's the hypotenuse. So the unknown is op. You have hype. So that's R sine theta. Hypotenuse sine theta. So this is going to be... What's the tension again? 120? So 120 sine 30, which is 60. And tension in the X is 120 cos 30, which should be a little bit higher than 60. 103.9. Okay, that's tension in the X and tension in the Y. So we can subtract TY, which is 60, and we get FN. So what do you guys get there? 8.67 newtons is the normal force. Now, if you look at our goals of this problem, we want normal, which we have, and force of friction, and acceleration. We don't have any acceleration over here. We can't get acceleration from here. We do have acceleration over here, right? So if only we knew the force of friction, then we could get acceleration. So in your formula sheet, what is related to Fn? No. If you have the mu, did I not give you the mu? No. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Give you the mu. So maybe this would have helped you a little bit more. But in general, the force of friction is dependent on the normal force with this relationship here. So we go 0 0.35 and 8.67. And we get 3.0345 Newton. What do you guys think about that? Not too bad. Okay, so we have Fn and we have Ff. Now all we have to do is solve for A. So if you're ready to do this on your own, take care of it. Otherwise, I'll take care of it in a second. All right, so over on the left, now an F net X. If we divide by 7, we'll solve for A. What's uh, Tx? We already solved for it. Subtract force of friction. Once you get that result, divide by 7. You got 14.4 meters per second squared. Uh, comma to the right. So this guy's really pulling hard. If you're accelerating at 14 meters per second squared, that's quite fast. 
So, all in all, there's not a lot going on. If you understand components, and you're organized, and you're diligent with your formulas. Do you always need a free body diagram? Good answer. Do you always need an F nat equation? And then with two dimensional dynamics, which is where we are now, you have to do net force for the X dimension, net force for the Y dimension, and keep it separate. All right, this is about as hard as it gets. I love to start off hard, because then you kind of know the, the upper threshold. Right, Eldrin? Right, this is where we want to be able to get to. I'll do another one like this tomorrow. But in the homework, you'll find that this way less challenging. But I still want you to know what I want you guys to accomplish. I want you guys to set a goal to be able to get here in your life, in physics. Okay, let's go to the homework. So we are in, um, it'll be section four of your homework. So it's after page 100. Oh, I remember this this homework book didn't have a lot of good questions. Okay, I see like I found some. Oh yes, I found some. Okay. <coughs> so not a lot of homework. It's page one hundred and twenty five. And we have number 13 and 14 and 15. So three questions there. Okay, 13 to 15. Okay, please jot that down So, because I'm going to switch pages again. There's a couple free body diagrams you have to draw. Got that one? Okay, yeah. now we're going to back up. No, where is it? Sorry, it must be in a previous section. It's in 4.2. Yes, 4.2. <coughs> And, okay, this is page 114, and we have number 8, <coughs> excuse me, and I think you guys should have already been doing these ones, right? Okay, 9 to 14 on this, or 8 to 14. And this was already assigned, so you should already have most of this one done. So I'm really only assigning like five new questions. And you have 20 minutes. Just as a heads up, tomorrow we're going into the equilibrium of a mass. And this is like, uh, we're, this is where we're headed next. These ones here. These hang hanging picture questions. That's where we're headed next. So it's, it's similar to the pulley question, um, but because it's not accelerating, acceleration is zero. So you still can treat it like that. Net forces, X and Y, that's what makes it a little bit more challenging.
Yep. Yeah, but you just got to split it into its uh, X's and Y's. Yeah. Okay, so that's where we're headed next. So you have 20 minutes to try the homework that I assigned. Huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.